I really want this this let's play to be as comprehensive as I can make it. It's like I'm not studying the lore of Diablo for this. I I don't care that much. But I really want to showcase the game and all of the aspects of it. I would really like to get all of the lines and stuff. I think it was around this time when... Because voice acting took a while to arrive on consoles. I mean, this is from 97. In 97, you also had Metal Gear in, in the PS1. But... Yeah, it was around this time when voice acting was starting to really happen for games. There was also... I think Monkey Island is also 97. Yeah, it was definitely around this time that voice acting was becoming more, more of a thing. I guess we'll see about that in the in the gaming thirty years later series, seven years from now. <laughs> I know I had a lot of trouble recording the Monkey Island 2 game for this one, for that series, because of the absence of voice, but yeah, and also my difficulty in finding the actual original version of the game to play, but anyway, that's fine, I should probably not do commentary about other series while playing this one, <laughs> sorry about that. Anyway, let's keep this going. But yeah, the Hall of the Blinds quest started and done right here. And that's what I meant when I say that, like the quests in the original game were more immediate. There is nothing really to like to left unfinished. It's a it's an area that you explore and you are done with it relatively quickly. Like, there is no way that you can start this quest and leave it half finished unless an emergency happens and you just have to leave immediately. But I remember the other, the, the quest on level 8 being quite extensive. Like, it's a whole thing. But we'll get to it. Eventually. So my plan for today is actually to explore all of level 7. And if I can, Find the if I find the entrance to level nine, I will take it immediately. And on level nine, we have another another uh, shortcut to town, and we will make great use of that. So let's see, while this level is guaranteed to be clear, level 8 remains a question. We'll see. We'll see once we get to it. But this is good progress. I am enjoying the pace that we are going with for this series. We have been making very steady progress. And it's been good. I've been enjoying this this run a lot. Oh, now a spiked club. Damn. Oh ho! Oh, a rare spiked club. Nice. Let's drink some potions. Oh, I got a new skill. Let's check that out. Villain strike level 16 skill combat ability. Mighty strike that. Re Repels enemies in front of warriors. Temporarily increases defense. Huh. Armor plus 21. That's not a joke. Like, that's pretty, that's pretty significant. For a duration of 3 seconds. Adds 32 points to damage. Wow. To hit plus 22%. Skill power modifiers, character level, and strength. So this is even... This is better than Cleave as far as I'm concerned. No, no, no. No, no, no. This should still be attack, but maybe this should be Veteran Strike. 
And we can test that out next time we're getting absolutely wrecked by some enemy. Because having ex not, not only extra damage, but extra defense is pretty great. So next time we find a unique monster, I will test this out, if I can remember. <laughs> See, I am very glad that as much as we have found some archers, we have not really been swarmed by them. I think one of the worst archer situations we found was the Flash Clan archers in level, I want to say 6 or whatever it was. Yes, level up. Uh, what do we do here? Uh, I am effectively considering putting some points into vitality. But I have been gaining enough life from just the level up. Hmm. No, I think strength because we really should be killing these things a lot faster than we are. And of course, Having a sword that I found on level like 3 or whatever is not really helping. We really need some better items soon. But let's see. Let's see what we can find. Oops. Let's see what we have down here. Oh, just because I was talking about not being swarmed by archers. And we have a... A special one. Let's use Violent Strike on that one. Oh, really? There we go. I used it once and the dude just died. But he's not unique, it's just a enhanced version thing. Immune to cold. Ah, uh, come on. Yeah, there you go. You could see there how the the code really slows us down. Really quite annoying. Healing potions, that's good. Mana potions doing almost nothing, that's fine. Let's see what we have here. Let's put some stuff in the belt. No, not that one. Um, yeah, like this. This is fine. Ah, uh, let's see here. There we go. Inventory more or less decently arranged now. Maybe like this. Yeah, there we go. I still haven't found the way to level 8, right? I'm not just blind. Yeah. It, it must be here somewhere. Let's check that bookcase. Let's see what we have. Firewall, no. Inferno, no. Phasing, no. Circle of Ice, no. Stone Curse, no. Book of Circle of Ice. Yeah, this was completely useless. But it's fine. Grab that. Oh, we also have a waypoint on level 8. There we are. Found it. Let's get this. Take care of everything. Whoa! Where is the enemy? Oh no. I thought it was a, an unseen... Oh, our... Our sword is garbage. There we go. Ah, uh, more special people. This one, you need to fire. Wow! <laughs> that was quite the punch. Damn. Oh, Valiant Strike doesn't have a cooldown. That's pretty good. I mean, why would it? That, yeah. That's correct. Cleave also doesn't have a cooldown. The only thing we have a cooldown is the repair ability, and that makes total sense. Oh, 
Okay, let's check the door, which I imagine won't have too much for us. And then we can start going down. There we go. Let's see what we have here. There from here. I can't get there from here. Fuck, I hate that line so much. There we go. Level 7 is cleared. Now we go down to level 8. Let's see what's up. What do we have? Oh, waypoint immediately. Nice. This is very fortunate. I'm actually going to use it. I'm just going to check this chest first. Nothing. And clear these. It's fine. Yep. I just immediately use this. Want to identify everything? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. There we go. Well, what can I do for you? What have we got for us? Let's see what we got. Enhanced armor, resist cold, magic and vitality. Nope. Chance to hit minus one, brass rank. Nope. Wow. Enhanced damage minus ten to all attributes. Nope. Thinking cap, alter durability, resist all. I think I have this, but I'm gonna check first. Resist lightning, dexterity, nope. Four to six, resist magic 20% plus dexterity, nope. So let's check the, the unique amulet. Plus five to magic, resist lightning 20%, light radius, minus damage from enemies. I also have this in the stash, so I'm not going to keep it, and this necklace is just too good. We should keep that at all costs. I need to check the, for the thinking cap. I think I have it, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's see. This, right? Yeah, thinking cap. So we can sell this. So, do we have anything here? No, that's good. What do you have, Griswold? Like, do you have anything interesting? Enhanced armor, but armor class five. So not really worth it. Nothing really interesting. Magic 10%, no. Ooh, 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 this is good. So what do we have here? Chance to hit 10%. And 2 to 6 fire, the enhanced damage is already being calculated in the 3 to 10. So we can disregard that up to a point. 5 to 15. But normal attack speed. So what we want is a long sword. A very fast attack. But high durability and enhanced damage is not exactly... Not exactly the best. Mm. Are these just the things that I so oh resist all oh, 19%. This is actually pretty decent. Huh. I'll keep looking and see what we can find. We have no active quests. So let's go back. And we can, we can see what we find. The thing that I really want is the entrance to level 9. And then we can see how much trouble we are. Oh, <laughs> that's great. So let's see that. Let's see what's up. It's hot down here. Holy cauldron. Whoa, wherever you go, there you are. Oh, yes. Okay, so this is great. This is really good. This is up to town. I just need to... Ah, hopefully that will be... Oh, ho, ho. yeah. 
here is the problem with the difficult spike with the cave is very real it's like I think in this entire playthrough the only place where I died was when I was actively looking for death oh damn wow yeah this is about to change <laughs> Damn! Holy shit! Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how much is my lightning resist? Twenty-seven percent. Do I have something that is lightning resist here? So I have this thirteen percent. I am going to very. Just for now. Lightning. This is resist all 10. Um, uh, let's hope that this will be enough to make a difference. And let's try again. <laughs> let's see. Let's try to bait some people over here. The thing is that there is a lot... Oh, that's... Oh, I bought... I didn't buy potions. I'm dumb. And this will not work. I'm going to die again. It's working a little bit better, but yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you what the really bad thing now is. Is that I've basically summoned everybody. Oh, the dude recharged. That's bullshit. Broken storm. So now everybody is like in the in the stairs. I'm going to come down from level eight and be immediately attacked. Ooh. Oh well. What ails you, my friend? Now is the time when I really regret having been neglecting vitality, as you can tell. But this is not a vitality problem. I've played this game enough to know that this is a resistance problem. I just need to tank some resistance, it's fine. And that's the thing, when you stumble into this situation, you would generally just grind the upper floor the upper floors until you have resistance uh lightning resistant equipment or and this is a this is also a realistic option or you just reload the game and try to get a better floor that is the secret <laughs> second option damn damn Oh, I could be using Valiant Strike. Damn. This dude. Well, at least he kill we killed him. That's fine. So, okay, now things should be a little bit more stable. Uh, no. God damn it. I clicked on the floor by accident. Blood Claw. So, yeah. The difficulty spike in the caves is a very real thing and how we deal with this is just grind for equipment as i mentioned previously i am not super inclined to grind for equipment if in this recording session i keep struggling extremely not a little bit but extremely with just simply being alive I will just resort to my, my stash of items. Maybe at least for the sword, because I really do feel like our sword is too weak for the point in the game where we are currently. Let's see. I don't want to... I don't want to be too hasty about this decision. Oh, ammo. Nice. Definitely grab that. 
I wonder what we have in the cauldron. And this is the same thing as before, it's just, it's a random effect. So, could be anything. No, oh no, spiritual cauldron. Riches are bound when least expected. Yeah, this just filled my inventory with gold. Uh, this is more annoying than I wanted. Of all the things that we could have gotten, that effect basically occupies every single empty inventory space with a piece of gold. I wonder if there is a a quicker way to mash all of those together. I cannot forget my goal here. It's simply to find to get to that get to those stairs. So let's let's keep in line with that. Let's try our best here. Avoid unnecessary fights. Here we go. Up to town. Ah, and here we are. We have down to the cave shortcut. Right here, close to Wirt. Now that we have entered level 9, though, maybe we have some extra quests popping up? But apparently not. Huh. That's good. That means I don't have to do <laughs> extra editing cutting and pasting sections of dialogue. But anyway. I want... Since we have hit a bit of a... <laughs> Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. I'm gonna call it a power surge in the enemies. Oh, this is amazing, but not for now. This is a sort of... Thing that we want for when we find a level that is particularly bullshit then we just throw this on because that's really excellent fire protection this is like end game stuff 40% in a single item is amazing well, what can I do for you? repair equipment don't really have anything to sell I need potions. I need potions very, very drastically. What ails you, my friend? Yeah, just buy the good ones. So now, yeah, so I'm going to try to clear level eight, aside from the gigantic quest that I really don't want to do right now. 